applying calculus to an SAT problem. The given equation relates the variables x and y. For what value of x is the value of y reaches minimum? For this problem, we're first going to find the derivative in which we're going to differentiate y with respect to x. So we find dy dx. Derivative of x squared is 2x and derivative of negative 14 is just going to be negative 14. Now we need to figure out the critical points for its minimum, which is when dy dx equals 0. So we set 2x minus 14 equal to 0, move the 14 to the other side, divide by 2, and we get x equals 7. But we're not done, because we have to prove that this is a minimum or a maximum. So we create this table. We're going to have x, and we're going to have dy dx. And we're going to have x inputs going from negative infinity to 7, 7, and 7 to negative infinity. First, let's take a point in between that negative infinity to 7 range, such as 6 dy dx of 6 is going to be 2 times 6 minus 14, which is negative 2. Those meaning from negative infinity to 7, the derivative is going to be negative. At 7, we already did that. It's going to be 0. Now when we take an x value from 7 to infinity, we can plug in 8, and our dy dx is going to be 2 times 8 minus 14, which is 2, meaning our derivative from 7 to infinity is going to be positive. Now let's look at this on a graph. So here we have some quadratic function. When the derivative is negative, we can see it's going down like that. And then when it's positive, it goes up like that. And you can see it forms this minimum, meaning that x equals 7 is our answer.